right, let's try that again. So we're gonna try again with Boyer D and his new buddy Vance, who is a fighter and charming. So hopefully his charm will help us not get beaten to death by hammers. I mean, really, it can't go worse than it did last time, right? Oh God, why did I do this? Why did I do this? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It'll be fine. Okay, so last time I just picked treat and that didn't go well. Um, so you know what? I think it would be really fun if we had a chainsaw hand because chainsaws in this game are kind of awesome. Nothing quite says Halloween like replacing your hand with a chainsaw. But you want to give a chainsaw a hand too. Let's give it to Boy RD. Boy RD loses his bolding, boring old hand and gets a chainsaw hand. This might be the most festive Halloween ever. I I can't wait to see what this does. All right, where are we going first? Yalmart's not an option. So let's let's go to a quiet hotel. There there might be food there. All right, let's let's see. Oh my god, it just replaces one of our item slots with a chainsaw. That's incredible. Oh my god. That's amazing. I don't want to use it yet cuz like chainsaws use gas, but like that's incredible, truly. Oh, let's see what's around here. Okay, here here's the stash. All right. Here we're we're making some progress here. Got some food. That's great. Okay. Uh god, you you guys are You guys are a little grabby already and it's not even that late. I'm not, not a fan of that. Oh, we found more gas. Oh, that's great. We found more boots, which for some reason he decided to take one. Uh, more power to you, I suppose. Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're finding all the stuff. Wow. This area's actually been pretty decent. Hopefully that bodes well for the future. Who can say really, though? I- I can't see the future. Not like you if I edit something in. I- the only future me has- has those kind of time powers. Past me, uh, hasn't learned them yet. And always forgets about them later. Okay, well we- we got a lot of supplies out of that, so... Good start. Let's not lose all of it in a pose-off. Uh, the group camps uh, in a sturdy building seems to be an old repair shop with busted machinery. Oh, yeah, we can do this again. Tinker all night. Yeah, why not? Yeah, tinker with your chainsaw hand. That... That won't, uh, go poorly at all. I'm sure taking your chainsaw hand to an engine would go completely fine. Uh... <laughs> these are some great options. Uh, let's, let's do the athletic store. That seems potentially more helpful. I'm also gonna put the gun away, because we don't need that yet. Also, you don't need your boot. Let's go. Sports and jorts! I love, I love sports and jorts. That, that's a lie. I don't love either of those two things. Okay, I, I'm assuming what we would find here would be weapons. Okay, I have to. I have to. Oh, there's an aluminum baseball bat. That might be good. Why don't you, why don't you pick that up? Okay. I had to. <laughs> Oh what? Oh my god. I've opened a hundred toilets, apparently. When Boyardee opened the toilet, a magical genie appeared. Thanks for freeing me from the toilet. Now make a wish. Boyardee makes a wish. Um... I want to be rich. Cans of food start raining from the ceiling. Finally, you're rich! Then the roof collapses on top of Boyardee. Oh my god. You know what? I, I can live with this. There, there are much worse fates to have. Also, I have a chainsaw hand if this gets out of control. That was the wrong thing. Turn it on! Why isn't it- Oh my god, it's not working. Yeah, leave me alone, jerk face. Are you gonna do anything else, or you- you just- you just exist now? Okay. Well. That's a thing that can happen that I completely forgot about. Uh, oh god. 
But let's keep looking around, but not for too long. We're, we're getting tired. Okay, well, there, there wasn't really a whole lot uh, else there. Also, I looked it up. Apparently, you can't start the chainsaw if your character is tired. So that was probably why we were having issues. Well, we only took one damage, so it could have been worse. We do need more medical in order to actually heal Boyardee, but we'll, uh, we'll figure that out later. The group runs into a horde of zombies. They're completely docile, just waiting outside of a shop in a big single file line. Every zombie is staring straight ahead. You can send someone to join the line to solve this mystery. So it could be a long wait. Oh, uh, Vance, you go do it. Vance waits in line. It inches forward to Vance's great irritation. Vance thinks that, about this positively. He manages to endure and get inside the store. His morale decreased, but the shop is trendy upscale grocery store. Most of the fancier items have been rotted to mush, but there's still some loot. Got some food and medical. Wow. Incredible. We've got 36 food. Don't lose it in a pose off. Ah, uh, but we, we did get healed. That was that was very important. So that was worth it. Uh, the group sets up a camp after being sure there's no danger here. They discover an edible berry bush. Uh we've got plenty of food, so let's let's just let's just get some sleep. Alright. This this is going alright. Group finds a professional car garage. The sign says car pros. They've managed to find some gas and lots of scrap metal. Just need time to tinker. Um Let's, let's repair the car in a tune-up. Boardy tries to repair the car and hope it'll go a little further before breaking down. The repairs take a good part of the day. The car runs like new. The car looks undamaged. Fantastic. I, this, this is great. <laughs> Wonder how bad they have it on the West Coast. It would be really funny if like, and I know this isn't true just because what the game's saying right here, it'd be really funny if uh, everywhere else was fine. Swole Mountain, the gym, you get swole. <laughs> Wow. Roman is tired of being stuck in this camp. He'll join you for a small fee of five food. He claims to be a great shot with a gun. He talks about his past life as a police officer, not just any cop, a super cop. Mmm, I don't know about that. Group sees a woman standing near a stockpile of crates. The crates seem to contain large amounts of food. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't want to... <laughs> no, you cool it. I, I am air. Yeah, I don't really want to sell any of my weapons, so... Let's see. Welcome to Swole Mountain. With Swole Mountain's patented methods, I can train you to whatever level of strength you want. Fast. As long as you get the food, we can keep training. Let's, um, let's get five food for group training. The entire group gets strength training. Well, his strength's better, so that, that's good. Special offer today. Good for one person. I've given a crash course in boxing. You learn how to punch and I'll throw in some intense exercise to strengthen you. Increase energy and toughen you up. All for 20 food. Nope. Pass. Hard pass. <laughs> uh, no, we're we're all right. All right, so th this was all right. We got we got some strength training, so hopefully we can uh hope the survive. Or our strength is better. Those are the words I was looking for. Words are hard. All right, let's go. Group comes across a house by the road. It's locked. While trying to smash the door door down, a voice calls out, Hey, leave my door alone, you dinks. Try to recruit? Fine, whatever. The door come opens and man comes out. Oh, his attitude and wits suck. Well, he'll be, he might be good fodder for zombies if things get desperate. I mean, what? Group gets confused when driving through a forest. They stop at a cabin to figure out where they are, but get trapped by a roaming horde. All right, siege time. Uh, what weapons do you have? You have an otaku katana. That katana is going to break. Um, so how about you take this ore that Vance has for some reason so that you have something for when that breaks. All right. Uh, let's, let's try and survive the siege. There's... A good amount of weapons and food in here, though. Uh, for, as for a first siege, this shouldn't be um, too bad. The the later ones is where things start getting scary. Like zombies will like rain down from the ceiling, like what happened to us with the Z the, the zini, the genie. Getting my my mythical creatures mixed up here. Um, if you want to call a zombie a mythical creature, I guess. Um, oh wait, no, I don't want the freaking screwdriver. I want the the crowbar. That, that is a better weapon than a screwdriver. Um, 
but yeah, the, the, the sieges start getting scary and you have to last for longer with more zombies pouring in from literally everywhere. So, uh, you know, if we survive longer this time, uh, maybe we'll, we'll see that. Oh, God. We're, we're kind of cornered here in a way that I don't love. Oh, let's get out of here. Everyone out? All right, let's go. Hit the road. Yeah, f the first one isn't, is never that bad, and you, you encounter it after you, you have the opportunity to recruit your first character, but, um, yeah. They get bad later. All right, the group is inspired. What do we want? Morale random skill game, fitness, shooting, or just advance plus two fitness. Let's see morale random skill game. Uh, let's see. Boyardy shooting, advances medical, and man's medical increases. Cool. Let's, uh, let's, let's see what happens next. A group hangs out in a small gym. The group eats a decent meal. The gym is full of ancient exercise equipment. The group has no idea how to use any of it. Could stay a couple days to try and figure it out. No. I feel like that's that's a way for us to like get hurt. <laughs> group finds a street in town that has traps all over it. Pits with blankets over the top, sh uh, snares everywhere, spikes on a barrel, a door with an obvious guillotine over it, and these are just the visible ones. Send out a scout to explore for uh, loot. Um, let's see. Uh, well, Boyardee's wits are pretty good, and so is Vance's. Let's send Vance in. Vance starts scavenging through the town, avoiding traps with the best visibility. He is careful where he's going. Many traps are spotted and set off safely. Vance avoids injury. We got more ammo and food. We love to see it. I, I, I told you last time, things can really go uh, either way very quickly in these uh, in these runs. Group sees a hospital. Medical supplies can often be still be found in places like this to a large amount of undead still wandering around. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see if what we can find. Okay. Well, there's not going to be anything in there. I can tell you that much. Ah, oh, yes. A singular canister or bottle, whichever you want to call it, of, of protein powder is what it looked like. Not sure I would count that specifically as medical supplies, but what do I know? Maybe it's supposed to be something else and I'm just dumb. It wouldn't be the first time something like that's happened. You can let me know if it's supposed to be something else. Oh god. Come on. Oh, man. Man is tired. Maybe if you weren't swinging around the biggest board known to me- I still have the stupid air horn. This- this is ridiculous. Oh, god. There's- there's a lot out there. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. We love the chainsaw hand. <laughs> Ow. Jerk. Well, this is what we're- this is why we're here to get more medical. Oh, leave me alone! Good god. Okay, um... We need to get rid of this stupid air horn. You- give him that. I guess. He has something at least. And right, what's up here? Please be more medical supplies. Thank god. We're not finding as much as I would have hoped. But I, I guess we're still early on in exploration. There we go. That's more along the lines of what I'm looking for. Oh my god, healing spray! Healing spray! Get... Yeah, let's, let's, let's replace that. I, I know I just attracted a bunch of zombies to me because I, I blasted the air horn. Was it worth it? Uh, debatable. Oh my god, please just die! Oh, thank god. I didn't want to have to use my chainsaw hand again. Well, we got a, a decent amount of medical supplies, so we'll be able to heal Boyardee. Also, we got the healing spray, which that's always helpful. You know, I, I grabbed the, the air horn for the memes, but, you know, that only has so much, uh... So much use. It doesn't even, really. Uh... As the, group uh, as the group explores a campsite, they are ambushed by bandits. They brandish makeshift weapons. They demand all of your weapons. This is ludicrous. Not even bandits will usually do this. This is a slow but sure death sentence. Uh, we're not telling, him to, to, telling them to cool it. We're not offering a compromise. We're just going to fight them. The group decides to take their chances in a fight. The bandits' weapons are crude, but they're still dangerous. Oh, oh god. Boy, already got hurt twice. That sucks. Well, we got the heal spray, so... We'll probably use that. 
The group sets up camp outside a grocery store. They notice another group has been following them. will probably attempt to loot the place. Uh, send one person in to loot? Uh, yeah, send in Vance. Other members stand guard outside for looters as Vance searches the grocery store. Brings back some food. Fantastic. We're doing good on food, which is which is good. Um, God, why do you have to heal man? Who finds a candy bar on the side of the road? It's fun size. Who gets to eat it? Um, Boyardee. Boyardee eats the ca that candy big time. The sugary sweetness makes him feel a little better about his current life in not Canada. I I just didn't want to give it to man because I don't like him. <laughs> Oh, uh, we're out of medical supplies, which which does suck. But hopefully we'll find more. A uh, house rescue or a busy hotel? Let's do a busy hotel. Uh, group spots a hotel while traveling through a ransacked town. It looks like the, uh, uh, people tried to barricade it, but were interrupted. All that's left are the undead. Okay. Um, You don't need the scalpel. Just, just take the bat and the axe. You can have the scalpel, I guess. Oh, God. We're... Already in the thick of it. Okay. Okay. Uh, you... There we go. Hopefully, uh, I don't need to do more than that, but... It's better than nothing. Oh my god. We've got... We've got a chain... Er, not a chainsaw. We got... We got a rifle. Okay. I'm gonna trust you with this. Don't do anything stupid with it. Okay, I... Maybe don't listen to me, I just accidentally revved up the chainsaw. God, we- I found like three guns now, because I found, uh, another rifle, too. I mean, my god. Okay, there- there just seems to be not a lot in here. Unless there's gonna be something here. Uh, not worth it to go try and get it, I'll tell you that much. God. Oh, uh, there- there's so many guns here. I don't have enough room for all these guns. We've got we got two rifles, so like, hopefully I don't need more than that. I mean, if it was a different kind of gun, maybe. Again, uh, found found a decent amount of stuff. We found more medical, which is good. Oh, the car's smoking, which is not great. Oh boy. Any the time to camp, there's been a lot of signs of bandits today. Someone needs to be awake in case of an attack. Boy or D. Man, to stay awake, it feels pretty bad in the morning. He's got decent loyalty, though, so that was the important part. I don't trust man. I don't trust that man. <laughs> okay, don't- don't knock Boyardee's ideas. He had a whole theme park. And it was perfectly safe. The group stumbles upon a Swallow Flex home strength, uh, and fitness machine. Trademark. You don't see these much anymore after all the lawsuits in, uh, against it and the government ordered recalls. Pick someone to use the Swallow Flex and probably get killed. Hey man, the machine clamps man in place for for its innovative gymnastic simulator. A high tension cable snaps free and whoops around. There's no time to react to it. Uh, let's avoid further injury. I just I just really wanted to to do that. I I know I shouldn't have because we now we don't have any medical supplies, but it it was worth it because it made me feel better. Storm descends on the group. In the pouring rain, the zombies of the city search for the living. Uh, lost safe house. I don't, I don't, I don't trust you with that. Um, God, I don't want to, I don't, I, I, it's, it's difficult to determine what to take with me. And I, I mean, this is, this is my own fault because I, I agreed to the chainsaw hand, so I have one less inventory slot, so, you know, this is just my, my burden to bear. Yeah, you get out of here. Um, I'm assuming there's nothing else in here. There is not, so let's, let's leave. Oh yeah, these zombies are, uh, not thrilled that we're here. Please just open the stupid thing. Oh god. Good god. Get out of here. Okay, what in... I, yeah, I always keep all my, my bullets near my bed. For all the guns that I don't have. I have a nerf gun. Whoo! Lot, lo okay. What? Oh my god, no! Oh, oh god! He's tired, that- I forgot about this. Oh my god. How did we get out of that? We should not have gotten out of that. Oh, good god. That was ridiculous. Did someone get the gun? 
Yes, man picked up the gun. It's a shotgun. We found... We found another separate chainsaw. Oh. My. God. Okay, I... I'm gonna- I'm gonna do potentially a dumb thing. I'm gonna give the healing spray to man. So that way we can have two chainsaws. So that way Boyardee dies. Um, we'll still have a chainsaw because chainsaws are fantastic in, in the right moments. Okay, we got- got some food. Uh, there's a fire extinguisher, which, you know, last time that was so helpful. Hit him with the steel chair. Okay, not nothing left in here. Let's let's move on. Okay, it's starting to get late, so like we should just explore in here quickly and then get out. Because otherwise it's gonna start getting real nasty. More than it already is. Okay, some some more medical. Ooh, ooh, okay. Yeah, you... You need to go away. Very quickly. Okay, you guys could help! Good God. You guys! God, you guys aren't doing anything! Move! Good Lord. You want me to die? You just jealous of Boyardee's chainsaw hand. That's what I think this is. Okay, I don't think we should linger in here much longer. Uh, okay, there's only one other room. What's in here? Oh god, there, there are more rooms. Okay, we're gonna look in here. And now we're gonna dip, because it's getting late. Oh god! Come on. And out the door. Where's the car? Get to the car. Quickly get to the car. Where's the car? Get in the car. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, don't do that. Whoo! That was starting to get bad. We got a lot of gas though, that's good. <laughs> I can see myself getting into hockey. Good for you, Vance. Oh, the group sets a camp at the safest place they can find. An abandoned mini golf park. In the morning they decide to uh, play... I don't know. In the morning they find a golf ball and putter while searching the area. The group decides to play a quick game. Cool. Everyone's everyone's fitness went up. A deer has stopped in the middle of the road. It stares at the car. Um, Vance tries to shoot it. Vance takes a shot at the deer from one of the car windows. He completely whiffs it. Well, it was worth a shot. The, hitting it with the car, I think, would have just broken the car. The group is driving down a long stretch of road. No threats on the horizon, but not much of interest either. Let's visit uh, the trader camp. Oh god. Who who are you? Aubrey is tired of being stuck in this camp. He'll join you for a small fee of five food. Plans to be great at fixing cars and machining. He says he used to be an engineer, but is evasive about what kind. Where do you trust this based on his experience? His mechanicals is all, uh, is all right. He's got, got, a, got a wrench. We'll think about it. Group meets a strange menacing figure. He or she is wearing a mask and rope. I sell axes. Just axes. Not, not telling him. It. That's how we get killed. <laughs> Someone needs to fix the roads. You can make it to Canada? That's horse trash. <laughs> alas, poor Skylar. And alas, poor Sunday. I knew her. Not Sunday. God, if your name is Sunday, I'm sorry. Hey, you just didn't want to talk to me. This friendly scavenger who's selling extra bullets, she claims not to use pistols due to how gunshots rile up zombies. How much? We've got plenty. So, uh, the only person I, the only thing I would, I would think about is, uh, taking this, this new person. Uh, and you've got decent mechanical. So, sure. Let's go. Oh god, this car. <laughs> oh, this car's not gonna last much longer. The group is driving through a ruined city when they end up being surrounded by all sides by a horde. They're funneled through the only place that looks defendable, a ruined mall. Oh boy, okay. Let's, uh, let's put the extra chainsaw away. 
Let's take the rifle with Boy RD. Um, you're gonna put that away. You're gonna take that. And you got your monkey wrench, so I hope you do all right. Oh God. Hopefully this, this place isn't too bad. Oh my God. There's people here. Oh, we gotta get to them. Oh my God, I couldn't get around. Come here. Oh, good God. Hi. Yeah, this is what I trained for. I'm ready to rock. All right, well, we got we got some extra firepower on our side. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, I knew it was gonna happen, but it still it scares the crap out of me sometimes. Oh, no. Yeah, sometimes- oh, God. Sometimes the trick is having to, like, run around in circles to uh, get around the, the, the zombies. Oh, God. Yeah, shoot- shoot them if we have to. Oh, no. Boyer D is not the best shot in the world. Oh, God. Oh, my God, move! Please. Oh, God. Oh, no. Well, start up the chainsaw hand. There we go. That- that cleared a path. We love the chainsaw. Oh, I think- Are they out of ammo? I think they're out of ammo. <laughs> that sucks. Oh my god, please just let me leave soon. This- this is not great. Okay. We can get out. Oh god, we're gonna have to- We're gonna have to force our way out. There we go. Let's go! Is everyone here? Alright, let's go. <laughs> oh, thank god for chainsaw hand. The group feels inspired! Alright. Uh... Does anyone need health healed? No. Uh, let's... Everyone get strength increase. In a post-apocalypse, it's still possible to get swole. All right. We, we are still doing all right. Again, we've made it further than I made last time, so that's great. Uh... <laughs> the car is broken down from use and abuse. It won't start up again. We can either abandon the car, Boyer D attempts to fix it, or Aubrey punches the car. I don't think, um, that's gonna fix it, so Boyer D. Where do you pops the hood of the car? It easily repairs it in no time. We are gonna run out of gas soon, uh, which is bad for multiple reasons. Um, just go to sleep. Uh, okay. Running out of gas was bad, though, because we're, we're not gonna be able to use our, our chainsaw. Uh, well, if nothing else, we can we can see if we can find some gas here. Okay, let's, uh, let's check out the car. I am, uh, gonna put the, the rifle away. Sure, you can, you can carry it. Okay, we did, we did find some more gas. I don't think there's anything wrong with the car we've been driving. So I, I'm really mostly in this for the gas. And maybe if we can find extra food, which we can, because there's some vending machines here. We love it. Okay. Nothing in here. What about up here? Uh, there's there's quite a bit of stuff, including a lot of a lot of zombies. Why are they all in the bathroom? Well, then again, it's a rest stop, so I guess depending on when you go to a rest stop, the the bathroom might be pretty busy. Probably also depends on the rest stop. You know, there there's some you go to, and I'm like, I would not trust that. Again, I don't really care about the car. I'm more so here for gas. Which it doesn't look like we're gonna find anymore. So, well, the amount we found is the amount we found. It was worth a shot. Oh, Jesus! God, get in the car, quickly. Get out of here! Good God. Okay, so we, we found a bit of gas, which is better than nothing, but 
group finds a new person, uh, Marianne. She's alone and wants to join the team. Marianne claims to be experienced in medical matters. She admits that she wasn't a doctor doctor, but catches herself. Uh, no, we're good. I mean, I don't love man, but I'm willing to deal with him at this point. Bandits appear, all wearing sweatbands, all super buff, also their dog. They demand protein powder. They also accept 15 food to pass safely. Um, we have a lot of food, but I don't necessarily want to give it up, so I'm just gonna fight them. Krupna, yep. I would rather everyone be hurt than, than deal with that again. God, why do we keep healing man first? Who finds a large campsite that's occupied a few carloads of other survivors. Camping with strangers is risky, but there's nowhere else to go. Uh, none of them are heading to Canada. We'll camp with them. Group takes a risk and goes to sleep in the crowded camp. Nothing unusual happens. Sweet. All right. Oh, we're gonna lose. We're gonna we're gonna run out of gas soon. Uh, group drives into the city. Noises in the car have already started to draw attention from the undead. Um. Go to an apartment with help banner. Oh boy, toilet heaven! Yep, this this we immediately walked in and there's a toilet. They I suppose that counts. Yep. There's a lot. Okay, let's see if we uh we can find the person in here. Hopefully uh they're not too difficult to uh to pin down. They they were not uh in toilet heaven, I can tell you that much. There was there was just a lot of toilets and uh not really I sound, oh, here you are. Ginge? I feel like you're missing an R on the end of your name. Uh, so she really wants to get out of this place. She has to follow you around. Heck yeah. We will, uh, we will see if we can all get out of here alive. That's the goal. Oh my god. Can we, can we just find some stuff? Oh, we found things. Oh god. I don't love that you decided to use the gun there, but it did also get us out of there, so I'll forgive you this time, man. All right, everyone in. Oh, everyone fasten your seatbelts, because we're, we're getting out of here. They, they might arrest you in Canada if you don't wear your seatbelt. That might, that might still be the law there. All right, what are you going to offer? Group mechanic training, group strength training, or we can recruit her. Um... God. You know, I let's just get the group strength training. All right. Vance's strength is actually getting pretty good, so that's great. We're we're going to run out of we're going to run out of gas. I hate this. Group spots an extra tall pile of garbage near some buildings. It's maybe over 12 feet tall. Littering got pretty bad near the collapsed civilization. An extra large can of baked beans is stuck near the top of the pile. Look, it shines like a hope of beacon. Um, smash the garbage pile. Who should fight the garbage pile? Vance. Vance smashes the garbage pile. It collapses right onto him. Oh. Garbage gets all over Vance. It was worth it. It was all for the beans. Probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, but... Oh well. And we're gonna run out of gas. Car is completely run out of gas and coast to a stop. Well... Uh, walking man doesn't notice a hole in his backpack by the time he realizes there have been hours of opportunity for supplies to fall through. God, man, or man, whatever the hell your name is. Says you can't camp for the night. All right, just a normal. Yeah, you don't have enough supplies. Uh, how many walking, seven walking days, or not walk, driving days. Okay, you know, they demand 15 food, uh, no. Group was tired and caught the open as they fight. It's unfortunate these bandits aren't that dangerous. God. Ooh, Aubrey and Vance are not looking great. Okay, we found we found a car. Let let's try and actually get in it. Okay. Here here's some gas, so I can use my chainsaw hand if I if I have to. So that's good. Hey, more gas. That's good. More food. We need medical. I don't think we're gonna find that here, but we do we do need that. I I think I still have the heal spray. But it's not on me right now, obviously. I might I might need to bust that out. Maybe if we run into another trader camp. 
Oh, they're, they're some metal. I don't know if I trust it coming out of a dumpster, but I suppose... It's... It, it, the game says it's okay, it must be. Video games would ever lie to me. Just like the internet never lies to me. There we go, there's the car keys. Can I get to those dumpsters? It might not be worth it. Let's see if we can find any other dumpsters. It's kind of looking like a no. Alright, everyone in our new purple car. It's an interesting color, but hey, we've got gas, so it's better than it was before. We don't have a ton of gas, but we have gas. Who finds an inn open for business? The odor ring. Oh, it's this again. Um. Yeah, Van haggle the five food. Vance gets a better deal for the night. You're a sly one, heh. <laughs> Innkeeper serves up an amazing breakfast for only five food and six driving days to Canada. All right. Let's hope we can get there. Uh, obviously man farted in the car. Man is blamed for the fart. The smell lingers. Uh, who was this the real culprit? Who can say? I, I know it in my heart. It was him. All right, I didn't. Oh my God, I, I hit, I hit A. And I didn't even see my other option. Oh God, the group runs into an enormous mansion. There can be a lot of loot in here and a lot of zombified looters walking around in the dark. Okay, this is not what I wanted to do, but it's what happened. We need the flashlight because the game recommended that. And also someone needs uh, the heal spray. Okay, you can, you can get rid of this. We don't, we don't need these things. You take the heal spray, get rid of that. Um, and how about instead of the wrench, you, you carry the crowbar that you have. That seems like a, a much better idea. Although I am gonna, I'm gonna swap my control to you very quickly so I can heal people. All right. Oh God, I used it. I used it on the two people that didn't need it. Oh, that sucks. Whatever. Let's see what we can find. Oh God, pipe bombs and absolutely not. Oh, who died? Oh, Aubrey did. Well, that's unfortunate. What did I pick up? A cavalry saber. Okay. We won't say no to that. Oh my god, please just go in the door. Where, where did man go? Oh, he got stuck behind the couch, you idiot. Come on. God. Oh, this saber is awesome, though. So th th this trip was worth it for this thing al alone. Okay, well, uh, we did we did find a decent amount of stuff in here to make that worth it. Um, okay, Vance has healed a little bit, so. Oh God. Uh, as long as one part, yeah, we're let's visit the trading camp. Uh, what do you want? Group finds a man claiming to be a traveling medicine salesman. He carries two suitcases full of medical supplies. He offers one medical item for each food. You have four, uh, four you want. Uh... You know what? Give- have five food. For five medical. That seems- that seems great. This weapon is awesome! Um... I don't know if it can break, I hope not. But, uh, it was- it was worth the- the trip for that. Alone. Uh, finds a dumpster. It's locked tight with a slot in the side. Drop the food in here, says a tiny voice in the dumpster. Uh, I don't want to get any of that. What about you? Fruit means a Oh, God. <laughs> the, the, no, we're not. We're not telling her to cool it. Uh, I'm going to have flashbacks. No, get, we're, we're moving away from, from her. Well, we got some medical stuff, at least, so... That was good.
Oh, I don't like the car is already smoking. Okay. Uh, just a normal night. Five driving days to Canada. A large horde of zombies on the road ahead. The group isn't sure if they can get through them all or not. Um, well, we don't have enough gas to take a detour. Um, I don't know. The car is not necessarily going to survive. We're going to try. The group decides to try and drive through the horde. The car is destroyed. Well, we tried. The group is ambushed. Uh... Yeah, we'll give them the 12 food. The group decides to pay it safe. They gave them to the bandit's demand. It's not my favorite, but we got a lot of food. Uh, Vance is walking along the road, and he's suddenly mauled by a feral cat. Feral cats coat the United States after the zomb zombie apocalypse. You never see them. They're always watching, waiting for any weaknesses. I don't... I don't love that. There's a large city head rotten with zombies. A group knows that walking through the city streets is a bad idea, but a car waits at the end of it. Uh, let's, let's do it, I guess. I'm gonna put this away and take the shotgun just in case. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, no! God, I just... I just need, I just need to get through! Because I need the gas. We're siphoning it from these cars. God, I don't... Stop shooting! Stop shooting! Good God! We don't need to waste all our bullets. I know this is not the greatest situation in the world to be in, but good God! There's a can on the road. Oh, and that that car isn't it isn't destroyed. It just blends in. Oh my God! Get in the car! Get in the car! Get in the car! Holy crap! Oh, we got a lot of gas now, though. That's good. Oh, and this this car is good gas mileage. That that is something that Im impacts. I think that 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 that's a that's a stat. Okay. Oh, into the Walmart trading camp. Oh God. Th you can't get around this. Oh. You're starting to annoy me, game. An old but fit. Man in a matching gray uh, sweatpants and sweatshirt. He screams something about building mass in bulk with an intense strength routine. Uh, Vance uses his charm. Vance gets free strength training. He already clearly feels a pump, as the bodybuilders used to say before they were all wiped out. It didn't actually improve his strength, but it was free. Well, it was worth a shot. Grip meets a woman wearing an oil stained coveralls. Gonna help you get better at repairing stuff. Uh, we're already all right at that. Uh, holding a bazooka and a satchel overstuffed with beeping mines. He looks so happy with his explosives. These weapons will not let you down unless, of course, you blow yourself up with them. Uh, that's probably what I would do, so I'm not gonna do that. What about you? Grip sees a woman standing near a stockpile of crates. Uh, I'm not giving you my saber. My saber is f oh, probably one of my new favorite weapons in this game. My favorite before was always the hatchet. Because, like, that was all reliable, but... God, the saber is amazing! <laughs> Ooh, okay. We can do it. Okay. Oh, God, we... Oh, no! <laughs> the sardine pack and the mega cheese! Okay. Let's try and get through. Oh, God. Let's go. Come on, you two. We are making it to Canada. I, I could... Stop firing the gun! Oh, good God. No, leave me alone. I'm trying to get this gas. No! God! Where's my saber? God, give me that. You're just gonna waste all of our, our ammo because you're an idiot. God, I hate him. Nope, go around. Come on, we're, we, we've almost got to be at the end of this. No, let me go, God! Oh, God, come on. Why do they have to be mega cheesed? That is literally the worst aggression type we could get. 
Oh my god. Is there anything in here? Why did you drop the saber again? God, I'm not trying to drop it. Come on. Okay, let's get out of here. Stop firing the gun! God. I know we have a lot of ammo, but he's just gonna waste it all. <sighs> Idiot. Can we just, like, kill him already? Yeah, you feel so inspired. Um... But morale and random skill gain, I guess. Sorry, I don't... My morale is going down after seeing... God, I don't like man at all. <laughs> no, stop asking! Thank you, Vance! Oh, uh, on nearby highways, a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but many have a little bit of gas. Would you like to send someone out to siphon the gas? Man can do it! Yeah, it swallows a little bit gets really sick. Yeah. Screw you. His morale is getting lower than I would prefer. But what can you do? We're driving the death road. Oh god. Um I don't like either option. Cabin rescue. Group hears gunfire coming from a cabin in the distance. Oh, it's a siege alert. We're we're gonna try. You you've lost your gun privileges. That that's that's what I know. Oh my god. Okay, there's a lot of you. Oh, there's there's a third chainsaw. Elsie says that she really wants to get out of this place. Yep. Come on with. Okay, got some more gas. The zombies. Are, yep, there they are. Oh my god! What kind of bullcrap was that? Let me through. Oh, good god. Oh, now you have a chainsaw. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, come on, let me through! I can't get through! Mm. Sorry, there's, there's also just this bug flying around in my room right now, and he's flying at my face. God, go! Go away! Both the bug and the zombies. Oh god. Let me out! Oh my god. Let's get out of here. God. Oh, Elsie catches up. Okay. Um. Sure, you can join the team. You seem better than man. Oh my god. That was a lot. We almost lost Boyer D. And I would be very mad if Boyer D does not make it to Canada. Um, okay. The group is ambushed by a yelling man. He's ranting and raving. He doesn't look particularly dangerous, but those rants are starting to sizzle. Listen to him. Vance listens to the ra ranting man and tries to reason with him. The man comes down and explains he thought the group were bandits. I mean, that seems reasonable. We've got man with us. Who? What's gonna happen next? Uh, just a normal meal. Three driving days to Canada. Oh my god. I hope we make it. We're about to break into a small fortified grocery store but find Suni already living inside. Um, yeah, you're gonna join. Um, get. Man, get out of here. Man gets booted out of the group to make room for Suni. Yeah, I would much prefer her. Who? God, we need more food though. Um, let's let's go to the rest stop. Let's uh let's see what's here. Oh god, immediate immediately get attacked. I hate everything. Okay, well that was that was actually a decent room, minus me dropping my saber again. Uh, not really a lot worth uh, going into too much detail about. God, I swear to God, just get in the car. Get in the car, get in the car, get out of here. Please don't blow up on me. God. Who? okay, well we found food, which is what we needed. Um, 
It, I still wish we could find more medical, but we're not there yet. One well, the office building group finds a safe has been left open. There's nothing in there but papers. The text is all jumbled and makes no sense. They were locked up. They must be important. Who should decipher them? Um... God. Wits might do it, so, uh, let's... Let's say, uh, Boyer D does it. Bridge takes a crack at decoding the secret documents. He recognizes some patterns in the papers. They're blueprints. It's designs for an engine that runs off canned beans and expired cat food. Very interesting. <laughs> Ooh. Well, we're gonna need to fix the car soon. Um, oh my god. The group camps out in a pro, sh uh, pro shop near a golf course. Elsie looks out the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching from the driving range. A boyardee hotwire is a golf ball collector. Jumps into a golf ball collector and starts running over zombies. It's surprisingly effective. By the time the collector breaks down, what well, the zombies are taken care of? Oh, his mechanical is the best it can be. I've never even seen it get that high. Fantastic. Can any human truly be too swole? Why? Why you gotta try and knock boyardee down? Okay. Let's. Let's go, uh, to the hardware store. See what we can find there. Oh, what weapons do you have? Uh, you can take a golf club. You know what? You can take a hatchet, too. You don't need this femur. And you, you have a frying pan. We, double bear shotgun that we got there. You can, you can keep the meat cleaver. Oh, you don't need to have it locked to you. That seems unnecessary. All right. Let's see what we can find. An e-whacker. Um, I don't- I don't know that, that that particularly helps us. A leaf blower? Again, probably not the most helpful thing in the world. Uh, I will take the gas that's here, though. Okay, there might be some stuff in here. Medical and shotgun shells. Not gonna say no to any of that. Hey, okay. ooh, I will say no to this. You guys need to, uh, let me leave! Oh, boy, he's gonna start getting tired. Oh my god, let me leave! Oh, good god, they they don't want me to go in these buildings. Uh, hit him- hit him with the steel chair! Ignore the fact that it's not steel. It was a chair! So, you know, it wasn't a total lie. Oh god. Okay, that seems like it was probably about it here, so we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Yeah, not- not the most interesting thing here either, but... We're so close to Canada. I- we could maybe do it! And we got a lot of gas, too! Like, that- that's the other great thing. Rip gets a rare peaceful moment to relax in an apartment roof. There's time to talk, and someone reveals a lot about themselves. Uh, how about you, Elsie? Elsie reveals her true essence! Uh, those could be worse stats. Not the greatest, but I've also seen worse. <clears throat> Car's broken down from use and abuse. It won't start up again. Uh, fix it. Heck yeah, you easily repair that car. You are the mechanical master. You ran that theme park. We're gonna endure the smell. Uh, all right. One driving day until Canada. In a house with a generator attached, the group stumbles upon a working computer. One of the older style ones, where the monitors were built like enormous bricks with glass on the front. The group salivates, finally, a chance to watch YouTube videos. Uh... Try to get on the internet. Computer makes strange piercing noise, distorted chirps. What the heck is going on? Boyardee expertly gets the computer to work. It was the hardest thing he's ever done. Internet seems to be down, though. How come? <laughs> uh... My morale goes down when the internet's down, too, so I, I relate to that. An enormous army of undead shambles around the carnage that surrounds the border to Canada. Many have tried to get through. Most only succeed in having their bodies added to the horde. Maybe your team will be different. This is the last chance to trade. Good luck. You have 16 food left. Oh, this, this bodes so well. Oh god, and Santa? I don't know, man. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not selling my weapons to you. Uh, what do you want? Uh, I'm not giving you my gas either, because that's for my chainsaw! Okay. Uh, shotgun shells. Um, how many do we have? 
Got 98. Um. Mm, no, I think we'll be all right. I I really think we're actually set up pretty well the way we are right now. So I don't I don't know that I'm really gonna actually bother talking to anyone else. I think we we're just gonna head to Canada. It is time to see if we can make it in. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so glad that they had that conversation. Oh, I remember that one. Giant armies of dead perpetually lurch around the Canadian border, unable to cross. The group gets caught up in a lesser swarm before they find a safe camp. Okay, well here here's the f the first of many trials to come. But if we can survive this, surely we can survive the rest. Oh god, I we need to get in the I I don't want to go in the cabin, but like there's stuff in here, including a zombo point, which you know is un Oh god, zombo points max. I'm assuming that's why the screen shook. Yeah, I was waiting for that. That took longer than I thought it would. No, oh, get get off me. Oh my god, get get around. Is there anything in here? No. Just just a toilet. Okay. Come on. Oh god, everyone's getting tired. Just just keep running in circles. That that's really the trick to a siege. Oh my god, get get out of my face. You just kind of have to keep running in circles. And sometimes you have to backtrack. Oh god! Uh, chainsaw hand at the ready. Oh god. Yeah, you get out of here. We're, we're, we're taking everyone to Canada. Everyone's making it to Canada. Oh god, not at that rate. Don't, don't jinx yourself, Yoshi. Oh god, it's even worse out here. Oh god, why did I do this? Why did I do this? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Yes, 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 yes. Oh no! Oh god! Oh, thank god. Oh my god, soon he's almost dead. Oh god! <laughs> Whoo! Whoo, that was just the first of several trials. Whoo! Okay, um... Morale and one health heal just to, to heal to heal Suni. Oh my god, we can do this. We can do it. Uh oh god, they're all getting along. See, the vibe is so much better without man. Crew prepares for the brutal day ahead of them. Canada is close, but the zombie forecast is bad. Crew needs a decent meal. There's food left over for the group to eat a second meal. Oh, his dexterity increases. Everyone's dexterity increases. Oh, we can do it. Nearly at the border to Canada, the group is surrounded by seemingly endless undead. To survive, they must face one last siege. This is the final siege, but not the last battle. Port size overwhelming. Siege length. Four hours. All or nothing, baby. Uh, okay. I'm actually gonna give you the double barrel shotgun. You are gonna take one of the rifles. You... Uh, are gonna take one of the pistols. And you... Why do we have the... You're gonna take the chainsaw. You're gonna take chainsaw number two in case Boyardee doesn't make it. Okay. Here we go, this is the last... This is the, this is the last major siege. Uh, you can go in the buildings to see if there's, there's stuff in there. Uh, none of it's gonna be worth it though. There's like some food, maybe some ammo. Which, I mean, that might be worth it. God, you guys are gonna waste all our bullets. Before we we even, like, have a chance to- There's also some bombs in there. So, you know. That's an option, too. Okay. You- Oh, no. Don't switch to him. I don't know if I trust you with this, this second chainsaw right now, actually. Huh. But, uh, yeah, we have to survive four in-game hours, and the best way to do it is to just never stop moving. 
I remember my first time getting here, I was like, there's no way I can do this. And I've done it a few times. And that, that just seems to be the trick. Never sit still. If someone's about to die, it's unfortunate, but you just kind of have to let it happen. That sounds awful out of context. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, and sometimes you do have to double back because the horde is, like, ginormous in front of you. But you just have to go through the path of, uh, least resistance. And, uh, sometimes you gotta, you gotta start shooting. Okay, come on. Oh, we can do this. We can do it. Hmm. This, this requires a lot of concentration, so that's kind of why I'm, I'm not talking. Because, like, I, it's just, it's a very intense moment. You know, four in-game hours is a lot of time. You know, when every other siege has been, you know, an hour to an hour and a half, two hours is just insane. Or, no, four hours, excuse me. Two hours would still be a lot, but... You know, if you're out of gas, you can switch to another weapon. Oh, I should not have given you the, the extra chainsaw. That's what I'm learning. Oh, man. But see, the, the vibe is so great. We don't have man here. Everyone else is, is pulling their weight. I mean, maybe you were a little overzealous with the, the, the chainsaw, Ellie, but I'll, I'll forgive you. And, like, this horde is not terrible. They all seem to be localized around here. Which, you know... I've had it before where, like, the entire place was just, like, completely filled with zombies. So, like... This, this is not going as badly as it could be. Not nearly as badly as it could be. I mean, it helps that we've got a lot of weapons and such. Oh no. Yeah, you you get out of here. Everyone's making it to Canada. We're 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 making it. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll just clear that path a little bit. I am running low on shotgun shells. I don't love, but we should almost be done with the siege here soon. Come on. We can we can do this. We can absolutely do this. I did not mean to rev up my chainsaw hand. Absolutely we can do this. Oh, we're so close. We are so close. I can almost taste it. It tastes of maple syrup! Come on! We're so close! We're so close! Come on! Yes! We can- we can get out of here! Yes, walk back to the road! Heck yeah! Alright. Oh man, the border to Canada is just north of here. The group must cross the bridge, then reach the fort that serves as a checkpoint right outside of Canada. This is the final challenge. Good luck. Alright. You- you got the pistol, you- we've got the shotgun, you've got the rifle. I'm gonna give you... Um... no. Uh... who? You know what, Vance? You can also have a pistol. Let's go. This is where it gets serious. Uh, whoops, my car! <laughs> I- I've never had a car make it here! That's incredible! I've never seen that before. Okay, but we can- we can make it. Just keep dodging and weaving. Come on. We can do this. Come on. Keep- keep- just keep moving, just keep moving. Oh, look, the snow! Snow means Canada. Oh, wait. Nope. Here we go! No, oh, no! No! Vance! No! Come on! Here we are! It's the Canadians! Welcome to Almost Canada! Oh, so like, watch out, eh? There's a whole buttload of zombies giving her towards the gate here. Hang tight, we'll give you a hand until the big guy gets here. 
Heck yeah. We made it. We just gotta survive. It's a boot time! Oh my god. Just, oh my god, we can do this. We can do this. Come on. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. There's so many. Oh my god. Just, yeah, keep, keep the chainsaw going. Yeah! Ugh. Oh my god. Yeah, Canada! <laughs> I love it, yes. Yeah! Oh my god. See, that, that first one was just kind of the warm-up. We, uh, we, we needed that to make it in. <laughs> You've got a Canada today! Congrats on making it to Canada! The Prime Minister himself makes the group honorary citizens of Canada. He walked to the last remaining nation on Earth. We made it. We did it. I hate skeleton. Win with the skeleton! Oh! Uh, one with the full team? Yeah, we did that. And one on normal mode. Oh my god. Oh, I love this game. I, I, it's a bit brisk, you think? I, I truly do love this game. Hey, look, penguins! Wait, what? <laughs> there are no penguins in Canada, but ice, snow, penguins! Sigh. I, uh, I really love this game. If people want to see me, like, play more of it at some point, um, I'm totally down to do that. There's, there's other, there's other modes. There's, like, modes that have, you know, special characters can appear more. Um, uh, there's multiplayer. I can do that. So, where do you invent a better mousetrap? It has carbon fiber on a USB drive. <laughs> this was definitely worth all the carnage. Vance became a legendary folk here after suplexing a moose that he was arguing with. <laughs> uh, soon he became a bat-themed mass vigilante. Copyright lawyers were called in. I learned a lot about myself and zombies. Elsie didn't have any strong skills, and she had a peaceful but uneventful life in Canada. Thank you for playing Death Road to Canada. But yeah, I love this game. Um, there's, there's different modes. There's multiplayer. I can see if I can rope a friend into to playing with me. I, uh, yeah. If, if you'd like to see more, let me know. But if not, if you made it this far, thank you so much for putting up with me. And I hope you'll join me next time in whatever capacity that may be. See you around.